Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to explain on how to pass AZ900, that is Microsoft Azure Fundamental Exam, with simple tips and tricks. All right, without wasting much time, let's begin. Before explaining about the certification, I'll briefly introduce Azure to you. Azure is Microsoft's cloud computing platform, which gives you the freedom to build, manage, and deploy applications on a massive global network using your favorite tools and frameworks. All right. Now let us focus on AZ900 Microsoft Azure Fundamentals. Microsoft says that the objective of this exam is to demonstrate foundational level knowledge of cloud services and how those services are provided by Azure itself. For this exam, no prior technical IT experience is required. Both technical and non-technical backgrounds candidates can take the exam and pass it easily. If you ask me, what are the skills measured during the exam, right? From the skills outline, the skills tested during this exam are as following. The first one would be describing about cloud concepts, which carries 15 to 20% of the overall questions which you get in the exam. The next one is to describe core Azure services, which carries 30 to 35 percent of the overall questions as you can see on the screen this is the most valuable part when it comes to the questions asked during the examination so you need to concentrate more on the second part of this examination and the third one describes security privacy compliance and trust which carries 20 to 20 30 percent of the overall exam and this is the second most highest priority Right. The fourth one is to describe Azure pricing service level agreements and life cycles, which costs 20 to 25 percent of the overall questions which you get in the exam. All right. Now, how much does the examination cost to you? It will cost 99 US dollars and you can schedule your online exam using Pearson View or CertiPort. Right. So. What does the exam look like? You will have 60 minutes to answer uh, the questions anywhere between 40 to 60, right? But I had only 34 questions in my real exam. Uh, it was quite a nice surprise for me. The exam presents several question types, which includes multiple choice uh, in different forms, right? One correct response and three incorrect responses select one or two or more correct responses out of five or more options anything can be asked the second type would be drag and drop right move the response to the correct description you can you will be asked to move the response to the correct description the third one is hot area right you need to answer the questions which are in the form of screenshot picture or diagram in the graphical form itself right so that is about how what what does the exam look like now let's talk about the most important thing on how to prepare for the examination there are a ton of resources to help you prepare for the examination microsoft itself recommends using its online platform that is microsoft learn it provides learning paths and modules you can read at your own pace for free. I have added the link for Microsoft Learn in the description below. So go ahead and start learning without wasting much time. I strongly recommend that you should create your own free account, read Azure services overview and practice on your own with Azure platform or anything. Uh, it may be of cloud, cloud shell or CLI, command line interface or partial or something, right? Go ahead and practice on your own. 
I also recommend you to get familiarized your, on using the Azure platform. Although you will not see any practical questions in the exam, if you start using the portal, it will really, really help you a lot. Right? Remember, this exam is not at all difficult to pass. It takes time and and you need to prepare well. That is the key. But nothing is impossible, right? The thing is to find your learning routine and progress by baby steps. Now let's talk about tips and tricks. On the day of exam, you can feel nervous. This is normal for any human being, right? But the conditions of the exam centers or online exam can also exaggerate that feeling. As the date of exam approaches, put yourself in the similar environment, right? Try putting yourself in a quiet room, such as those you find in a library or in your universities or so. The more you are able to mimic the exam environment, the less the environment will add to your nerves on the day of exam. And the most important thing is to managing your time is very important. Not only uh, you need to be aware of how long it will take you to complete the exam, but also how long will require to review your flagged questions before you do final submission. Right? You can find the handwritten notes of uh, uh, handwritten review notes of mine in the description box below. Feel free to use it as the date of the exam approaches and feel free to drop a comment on how this video helped you on the preparation journey. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.